it would look as though Davey Allison is the only one in that threesome there that's having problems handling in the corner. That is where Earnhardt seems to pick up the advantage. It's also where Kyle Petty seems to close in each time they go through turns one and two here at the Speedway. Now in three, Earnhardt there by about four car lengths ahead of Davey Allison. Back off turn number two here in Michigan with just two and a half laps remaining. Earnhardt continues to lead Davey Allison and Kyle Petty there in turn three. By the point four five second interval now as Davey Allison continues to close in through the banking of turn three now over into turn number four Kyle Petty sitting back in the third spot the other car with him the laptop machine of Darrell Walter then Tim Richmond now making his move off turn four and Rusty Wallace automobile two laps to go can Davey Allison do it let's find out let's check in with Jerry Punch well Joey Knuckles out here they're jumping up and down and raising the fist in the air cheering their driver on as he comes by this time to try to get Joey does Davey, ha Davey have enough stuff to handle him can Davey handle him well, we're going to do all we can do. He's out there trying to find him a spot. Maybe we can do it, maybe we can't. This is his first race here, and he's getting some moves put on him, but he's fighting back. Well, the Peach Fuzz Ganger jumping up and down with the fist in the air. You think it's getting ready to score. It's fourth and goal for Davey Allison. He couldn't have picked a tougher opponent to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with than Dale Earnhardt, but he's doing a good job of it. He tightens it up even closer as they work out of turn number four. Harold Kinder has the white flag in hand. One final lap as Dale Earnhardt comes down. Last chance for Davey Allison to reel him in. They're heading back for turn one. Dale Earnhardt takes it way high on the banks as they work into one. Now he drops it down low toward the yellow line. Earnhardt by three car lengths over Davey Allison. They pretty much left Kyle Petty alone in third spot. It is Earnhardt here later. Allison sitting second about five cars back now on the back straight. Final move is about to be made as they go down the back straightaway for the very last time this afternoon. Davey Allison has it to do now or never. He closes in to within three car lengths in turn number three. Looks to the outside of Earnhardt. Earnhardt's down low. Here comes Allison up with the banking in turn four. Davey goes way high. Too high, in fact. Now he has to try and come back to the inside. That move up the banking is going to cost him. He was having the momentum there, but he couldn't keep the car down low. Earnhardt will win. Davey Allison is three car lanes back. Five more back to Kyle Petty, who finishes the third. It looks as though the Crisco Oldsmobile has run out of oil and grease because Buddy Baker shows a lot of smoke from behind car 88 at the crash, or at least at the checkered flag. But Davey Allison had a run out of there, Barney, but the car just went a bit too high towards the marbles there in turn four, and that's what finally cost him. Boy, he tried to put the move on. He went just a little bit deep in the corner, looked like. Car drifted up, kicked loose a little bit on him, and he just couldn't get it back down, and that's all Earnhardt needed was just a little run at him coming off the corner, and Dale pulled away. But what a finish here at Michigan. It almost turned out to be win number three of the year for Davey Allison, but instead it is win number seven of the campaign for Dale Earnhardt. We'll take you to victory lane as soon as we come back to the Michigan International Speedway. This is MRN, the Motor Racing Network. NASCAR Today continues on the Motor Racing Network. It's a close one here at Michigan, but Dale Earnhardt's in victory lane. We'll get a word with him in just a moment, but give all the credit in the world. Young Davey Allison, let's see if we can get a word from him. Dick Brooks. Well, we sure do. He's uh, sitting here just like fresh as a daisy. Davey, the first time up here, it's got to be a pleasing thing to you as well as you guys ran. I'll tell you what, Dick, I'm just happy as I can be right now. Uh, old Haviland, Star, Thunderbird ran good all day. We just got behind on a couple of pit stops and couldn't get caught up. We got caught up there at the end, and I made a run at Dale on the last lap. I drove down in the third turn a little too hard and got the car to push, and I just couldn't get it to turn. But uh, he beat us back to the line. That's a heck of a run for Dale. He earned it. He, he led a lot today. Well, I tell you, he, there was nobody probably that you had had to work with more that could put on more moves, put more moves on you than he was. So I'm sure you learned a lot. Well, I think he was anticipating me going down under him because he slowed down a lot going into the third turn, and I already had planned on going to the outside. I thought I could get around him. I just, you know, I just overdid it. But it was still a good race. Yes, it sure was. We enjoyed it. Good luck to you, Ron. Thanks, Dick. I'd like to say hi to all the guys back at the shop that don't get to come and to my good buddy Horace Gray down there that's recuperating in the hospital from an operation this week. All right, good luck to you guys in the future. Dale Earnhardt looks like he's really enthusiastic in victory lane. Let's go down to Jerry Punch. And that puts it mildly, Barney. He jumps out of the car and waves to the crowd with that big uh, hat on, and Dale win number seven. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, you know, I'd like to thank uh, Chevrolet for helping us out on the test and coming up here and doing some extra testing. And the car ran super all day. Richard and uh, all the crew did a super job. Lou's engine ran smooth all day. We had a little problem about five laps ago. The engine started spluttering at the end of the straightaway like it was running out of fuel. And, you know, Davey started catching us, but uh, we were just lucky to hang on, I think, because the, the car really was starting to splutter in a little. Looks like Davey made a pretty good move to try to get you down in three and four that last lap. I wasn't looking back. I was going forward. 
you asked the guys in the pits, they were so nervous. You asked them, said, you guys are nervous or not? You guys shaking, you were apparently cool in the RC, and the guys back there were just trembling, waiting for those last laps to wind down. Yeah, well, you know, uh, I knew they'd be no pretty nervous because, uh, you know, everything's getting down to the end. We done had two or three cautions. We stayed out on the same tires, so, you know. Well, Dale, not only win number seven, but it gives you a yeoman's lead in that Winston Cup first half point race. And uh, after next weekend, you may take home about 150 grand. That wouldn't hurt your feelings. No, it wouldn't hurt my feelings at all. You know, uh, you know, it's a really great day for us. Uh, went locking up the points and uh, for the halfway and uh, getting them a little more lead on Bill. Uh, winning this race was super, but, uh, you know, I think it means a lot to me because good wrench and uh, all our, uh, our candy sponsors from up in this part of the country. We're here, Chevrolet and everybody. Everybody works so hard to... Uh, to put this thing together. I like to say hi to the kids and the family back home. You know, I know they're watching and pulling for us. And, you know, it's just a good day for us. One thing Childress mentioned to me was those Goodyear tires ran so well all day long. you got to be proud of what they did. They didn't change tires, and you ran 51 laps on the same set. To, that's going to be awfully comfortable for you. Well, they were real consistent. We had a real good combination up here, and I think if they uh, come up with those combinations every race, we'd be all right. Congratulations again. Thank you very much. Let's go back to Dick Brooks in the garage. All right, Barney, somebody that really, really had a good run today and had a little bit of problem right at the end was Rusty Wallace. 